Hey guys, back when I did my um, big holiday gift set favorites video, I said I was going to do something on the drugstore gift sets that are out, and I have tried quite a few of them. I wanted to share my thoughts on those with you in this video. I've got quite a few things that I would recommend, um, a lot of things that might come under the heading of stocking stuffer, just, you know, lower price range stuff, and a few things that I've tried, a little bit questionable, and I want to mention those at the end. By the way, I got a new Christmas tree for this room. Isn't this great? It's gold. Um, I believe this came from, yeah, I got it from Hobby Lobby. So it's just sitting right back there. You can't see it all the way to the top in this shot, but very gold, very festive in here. But the first thing I want to recommend is a little gift set from e.l.f. You might find this in your um, Target or Walgreens stores, but it's the Full Lips set, and it's really just a trio of red lip products, and that's what I'm wearing for this lip look today. You're getting one of the matte lip crayon thingies from e.l.f. that I really, really like. This one's in rich red, and so I've got a little bit of that in my look today. It's a very true red, and by the way, on the bottom is a little sharpener so you can keep that tip. I think that's really important, especially for deeper and brighter colors. And then they give you this lipstick in Socialite, and it's a pretty pinky shade, but it's really fun mixed in with this. I've actually got a little bit of this kind of in the center of the lip, but blended over it with the matte lip pencil. So really fun to just blend out and kind of customize the shade. And then you've got a long wearing lip liner pencil, and I don't know what the shade name is on this, but it's more of a deep brick red. So it's so fun to take these different tones and mix them, and I've got all three of them on my lips today. Really liked how the look came out, but you can totally make it more light and pinky by using more of the lipstick, or a little bit deeper by adding in more of the lip liner, and then of course, like I said, the matte lip color is a really true red. So it might be a nice little thing to tack on to someone's gift, or if you're just looking for a small gift. For me personally, I am such a drugstore makeup lover. I get just as excited if someone would give me something and they're like, oh, this is a great little diamond in the rough drugstore find. Because that's just my feeling on makeup. I feel like if someone has shared something with me that they really think is awesome, I'm gonna have fun with that and enjoy that, whether it's something they got a really amazing deal on or if it's more of a big ticket item, you know? So big thumbs up for that. Another great lip kit that I did review over on the Express channel that I really, really like. It's the um, NYX Pure Decadence Butter Gloss Trio. I know NYX has come out with quite a few different little lip combo sets for the holidays, but I especially like what's happening here because you've got the red Red Velvet. <laughs> so excited I can't even hold on to it. Red Velvet, Tiramisu, and Devil's Food Cake. So a red, a gorgeous neutral. I love the Tiramisu. That's the one of this trio that I already had. And then Devil's Food Cake is a gorgeous, rich, deep lip color. I think they're all beautiful. And I love how each shade is totally different from the next. So a lot of fun with that gift set. Sonia Kashuk has some gorgeous things for the holidays. Talk about something that is not too expensive, but yet looks super glamorous in the packaging and also just in the makeup product itself. There's a lot of gold happening here. You guys know I like the gold for this season. One of the new things for the holidays is the Deco Starlet Palette. And here's the outside. It's like a really mirrored gold finish. And then look how beautiful on the inside. I just think this looks so high-end, the way that's all put together. you got the SK logo there on the gold, and then the other shades in here are a pearly white down the sides. I realize not incredibly practical because those are pretty skinny strips there. You could still get your brush into them, but it is a little skinny there, I must admit. And then you've got a really rich chocolatey brown and a black. All of these shades do have some shimmer, but they work beautifully together. Um, I really want to do a tutorial with this palette. So beautiful presentation, beautiful quality there. And another thing from the Sonia Kashuk line that I'm digging right now um, is the Jazzed Up Nudes Lip Palette. This again has that beautiful golden packaging and then five creamy neutral shades in here. Can't you see yourself wearing like any one of these? They have a little bit of shine. There's no shimmer in these though. They feel kind of luxurious and glam, you know, using that wonderful mirror that's in there to apply this stuff. And then the scent on these is like a light vanilla type scent. So really nice quality gift. It's very safe because I just think these are super safe colors that pretty much anybody could wear, but a little more fun because you have that freedom to mix and match. Another little thing I'd like to recommend is an eyeshadow palette, and it's by Profusion. I got this at Walgreens, and this whole Profusion line, this brand makes a lot of the holiday sets that you might run across in Walgreens, Walmart, wherever. I found them to be very hit and miss. You know, there will be palettes come out where some shades are stunning, some shades aren't 
aren't so hot. It's not really one of those things where you can just, you know, go in, reach for anything, and it's going to be great. Not everything is awesome from the Profusion line. But I was browsing around at Walgreens, and I saw this Stunning Eyes 10 color palette. It was $5. And I looked at these shades, and I thought, man, those are actually, whoops, there goes the applicator. Those shades are really pretty. You know, there's some mattes in there. There's some shimmers. Nothing looks too overboard, and it's totally playing off that mauve pinky type of eye trend. And there is a mirror in there. This label comes off, but I just wanted to keep it on there so you might know what to look for. You know, it just really appealed to me at a glance. And then I got it home and swatched it, and I thought, okay, these are swatching pretty well. Then the next step, how does it apply on the eyes? And I'm wearing it today, and I think it's really, really beautiful. Really love this matte mauve shade right here. Here. These bronzy colors are gorgeous. You've got a shimmery pink down here that's really great. For this look on me, I've got this shimmery pink on the lid. Uh, I've got some of this pretty brownish, kind of a plummy brown in the crease. Blended some of this matte rosy shade up above the crease. And then I think it was this shade that I used as my highlight. But five bucks, I think that's totally a hidden gem type thing. You take this label off and it's just a gorgeous, like sparkly pink package. And a few just little stocking stuffer items that I think are so fun to give and personally I think every little girl or maybe every big girl needs lip smackers at Christmas time. I mean I so remember being a little kid and loving to get that like tube you know they sell those um, what is it, like a candy cane shaped tube and there's like three or four lip smackers in there. I loved that. I was all about it. So I saw this cute little set um, at Walgreens and I'm going to give this to my niece so I'm not going to bust into the packaging but it's got a strawberry macaroon and a French vanilla lip smacker and then this really cool like kind of gunmetal purpley glitter type polish in there and so I thought you know she might like that and it's just so fun to get new lip smackers you really can't miss with any of the little configurations they come up with. Another little lip thing that I thought was cute I got this for two bucks as the sticker says but um, this little elf lip gloss thing it's kind of packaged here like an ornament. This one is in grapefruit it's one of those twist off lip balm tints these actually exist in elf's line all the time because um, they also had berry and nude and I have have these. I've raved about these before. A lot of color comes off with these. And this is the berry one that I have and it has this pretty reddish tint but they're very comfortable. Um, just really pretty on the lips and so I thought I might give that to someone. Another little thing here for your long haired friends you know we always think we're accumulating so many of those little elastic band hair tie thingies but then somehow they just disappear on you. They're kind of like bobby pins. You think you start out with like a hundred and then before you know it you've like lost them all. So this is just a cute little thing I found. They've got some of these that are like the thicker elastic bands with the little knot on the end and I thought they were really cute. I like how that one like I would totally let that show that shimmery brown one and then silver and the black and then a bunch of these elastics that have some sparkle to them as well. Everybody can use more of those and I liked how not only were you getting some practical like kind of neutral colors but also some kind of fun ones in there as well. Just to wrap things up here a few things I wanted to talk about about the, as I said at the start, were maybe a little bit questionable. One thing is this Flower Beauty set. Um, I found this at Walmart. I'd gotten tons of questions about the flower gift stuff and hadn't found it for the longest time. And then just this past week when I was there, um, this one turned up. And first off, I love the eyeshadows. I have raved about Flower's eyeshadow quads before, and here it's like they're giving you two quads in one. So eight shadows, um, some really cool tone neutrals, and then a couple more flashy colors here with with the blue and the green. They're very pigmented, very smooth. You've got three really solid mattes in here as well. So really love that, but I'm just giving you the heads up. I have not tried the mascara that comes with this kit yet. And it's the Extreme Measures Lengthening Mascara. Um, lots of really short rubber bristles on this one. Even if I tried it and didn't like it, doesn't mean it wouldn't work for other people. But I just want to be totally truthful with you. I've not tried the mascara. The brush here, it's super soft, just feels really good quality but it's a little bit large. This can work for blending but I don't love it for application because I don't feel like I can be precise enough. Not a bad brush to like give somebody as part of this kit and they can add that to their stash but if they think that this alone is going to create their eye look with these shades, I mean some of these darker shades, this big brush just doesn't give you quite enough control with it. I really love the eye palette in this kit and if you've tried the flower eyeshadows and you like them, um, this is that same kind of quality with what's in the regular 
regular line. So it might be a kit you want to check out. Lastly, this gorgeous nude wear kit from Physicians Formula. The packaging of this, the whole outer packaging, I thought was stunning. I mean, it really just drew me in. I loved seeing that a drugstore brand went and put three of their products in an actual palette. I wish more brands would do this. So for that reason alone, I mean the concept, the packaging, I give this two thumbs up. I think it's just gorgeous. Super feminine looking, just very inviting. You get this bag, which is actually pretty substantial in size. It's got this little like bow handle. And this, you know, super cute, opens here on the top with your face products. On the bottom, there's a mirror and actually a place to store this double-ended brush. The brush is not bad. One end is kind of a classic blush brush, very nicely tapered. The other end is an angled brush, and I think size-wise they're nice. The bristles are a little coarse, they could be softer, but it's still a very usable brush. I think it's a nice brush. My issue with the product, and it's gone now, I dusted it all off, but there is a very glittery overspray that comes on top of each of these, where it says nude wear. It's like all-out glitter. I, it's a pet peeve. I don't know why Physicians Formula does this with so many of their products. Products. It is eye-catching to see it, but I still think the product looks nice even without that on there. But, I mean, if you were to just give this to someone and then they look at the product and maybe put their brush in it and then apply it on their cheeks, it is like glitter ball craziness. It's so not true to what each of these products are. And so I just took this brush that came with it and I just literally swept the glitter right off of the top of the product. But you've got this face powder, the bronzer, and the blush. The face powder, you know, it's kind of a luminous finish powder. The bronzer, I would almost hesitate to call it a bronzer because when you swirl your finger in everything, it's more of like a soft golden glow type of powder. And then the blush, you know, actually a rosy, soft pinky blush. But everything in here, even without the glitter, does continue to have some sheen. The textures of these are actually kind of nice. You know, they're sort of creamy type powders. I think I will continue to use these and enjoy them. So, I don't know, bottom line, overall beautiful packaging. Totally dislike the glittery overspray, but once that's gone, I think you've got some products here that are nice and usable, and if you've tried the nude wear line, maybe you know you like it, you might really go for this, but you are somewhat confined in terms of skin tone as well, because like this is the face powder, and that's gonna be too light for someone who's like a deeper medium to tan skin tone. And if you really try to stay away from any luminous powders to begin with, this might not be for you, because like I said, they all show up pretty glowy on the skin. So that wraps it up guys. Those are my drugstore gift picks, my stocking stuffer picks. I think there are totally some great drugstore beauty gift options out there. Those first few things that I mentioned in the stocking stuffers, you know, pretty universal, like give them to anybody types of gifts. I think they would really work nicely across the board, but with those last few, just keep in mind, you know, what's the person's specific needs? I think those are going to vary more person to person if someone's going to like those. So thank you so much for taking time to watch. I hope this was informative and I'll see you guys later. Bye.